Here we go! The main event of the evening! Do not adjust your sets! This is the caveman, Wayne the Caveman Murray, with a brilliant professional record of 17 wins, four losses, one draw. His hero is Rocky Balboa, comes from Neil Wayne's gym, trains with Neil Wayne, that's our cage contender, heavyweight champion. And he is a powerful man. Well, I think the term unorthodox character springs to mind both to Wayne Murray, when we're describing Wayne Murray, but also describing Arnie Isaacson. This is going to be a great fight. Arnie Isaacson alluded to it in the build-up. This guy has knockout power, an excellent record. The UFC were knocking on his door, it never materialized. So I'm sure that he sees this as a magnificent opportunity in front of the Belfast crowd here tonight to put a big W on his record. And any win against Arnie Isaacson is a big W. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Wayne Murray, 30 years old now, he's been fighting for several years, and he believes his time is now. He used to play rugby league, uh, but he got into bad habits of knocking people out. So he turned to MMA and he hasn't really looked back. Oh, here we go, a bit of Bob Marley for the Ice Viking. And what is that mask, Barry? Can you identify it? Is it? I don't know, I, I just hope it's not his acne. It's pretty frightening looking, to be honest. If you've got small children, hide them right now. It's okay, you can look it off. Well, two guys, as we said, unorthodox characters. Arnie Isaacson, a very, very popular character, both in his native Iceland and here due to his uh, amount of fights and his relationship with the Straight Blast Gym in Dublin. A lot of guys know him, a lot of guys know him as a, a great sparring partner for the guys there, as a real character in Irish MMA and indeed European MMA. He's been around the block. We saw him last a cage contender here in Belfast against Ronan McKay, who we saw tonight. He's a tough, durable character. Better on the ground than Murray. Let's, let's put that one out there right away because yeah. I do think that's going to be his game plan tonight. Arnie. Murray has tremendous power. I think Arnie has a bit more durability. And Arnie in his corner has Gunnar Nelson and John Kavanagh. John, he credits with a lot of what he's done on the boxing side of things. He, he thanks Daddy. Um, but also, he said his greatest achievement uh, was winning a tournament where he beat Dennis Seaver, who, of course, has fought several times in the UFC as well. That's and that's exactly where Arnie would like to get to. The beautiful Adele doing her rounds. Now over to Aaron Chatfield, because this is for the welterweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is to contest the interim cage contender, welterweight championship. Introducing first, my fighter on the left in the blue corner. This fighter is 30 years of age, stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighed in at 170 pounds. He has a record of 17 wins, four losses, one draw. Hailing from Doncaster, England, Wayne the Cayman Murray. And across the cage in the red corner, this fighter is 28 years of age, stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and weighing in at 168 pounds. He has a record of 11 wins, Four losses, no draws. Hailing from Iceland, Oni, the Ice Viking, Isaacson. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Dave Jones. So Dave Jones will be in charge of this welterweight title fight for the interim title. We've got in the blue shorts, Win Murray. In the black shorts, it's Arnie Isaacson. Yeah, what a tremendous battle we're going to have here tonight. A real battle of game plans, I think. Murray going to look to keep this one standing up all of the time, guaranteed. Isaacson, on the other hand, I think will be looking to take this one to the clinch, right in against the fence, and looking to piss, uh, press him against the fence and take him down. Absolutely. Murray just starts off with a kick. Isaacson stalking forward. That's it. 
Couple of leg kicks opening so far. Isaacson sort of looking for that kick, perhaps as an opportunity to close distance, which again he threatens to do. Murray moving well. But there it is, yeah. fourth kick he throws. Isaacson catches it, moves forward. Needs to respect the guillotine position here, Isaacson. Yeah, defends that first. And then moves back to the legs, but again... Murray still working for it. Those big arms of Murray, very important for guillotining. Always a, a nice to be strong. Very, very big man. Corner calling for the single leg on the right side. Again, Isaacson just respecting the guillotine first. And Murray able to push Isaacson away. Good job by Murray defending that first takedown. Isaacson himself has a good boxing pedigree in his native Iceland. No stranger to the stand-up game. Throws a kick of his own. Murray just choosing when to pick his shots. Not throwing too rashly. Wants to guard for them from the takedown. Doesn't want that to happen again. Isaacson closes. Three or four good leg kicks so far by Murray. They might pay their, take, their, take their toe later on in the fight. Puts the head into Wayne Murray there from Isaacson. Yeah, good head control this time from Isaacson. Maybe he might look to try and set up the single leg or the trip. There it goes. But look at the marks on Isaacson's leg. Maybe it's because he's a bit paler, but that's just from a yep. kick. And, and those few leg kicks. Couldn't quite bring Murray to the ground. Murray very strong. Great balance there. Attempted sort of Uchimata-like throw. He's got the build of a power lifter, doesn't he, Wayne Murray? He does. Those massive traps on upper body. The two guys differ in physique, all right. But at the moment, it's Isaacson controlling. Exchanging just short punches. Isaacson looking for that opening to take Murray to the ground. Yeah, if he can free up this tight wizard that Murray has with Murray's uh, left arm, Arnie's right underhook. He can perhaps drop down for the single leg. Or look to pummel in a little deeper. Isaacson just keeping Murray thinking with a few punches as he's working the position, trying to grab Murray and roll him to the ground, but just not quite there yet. Good Again, Murray by. pushes away. Good control by Isaacson, and I think, you know, part of the game plan here has to be to tire out the powerful arms of Wayne Murray. The more you pummel like this, the more fatigued your arm get. Here comes the single leg attempt. Just gets his head mixed up a little bit and on the far side. Goes for the safety position then. Goes for the safety yeah. and breaks away. It's a very, very sensible performance from Isaacson at the moment. He's just, as you said, biding his time, Barry. Nothing rash. And Murray is really starting to cut in with those leg kicks. And as you said, the leg marking up. Of Isaac, Ernie Isaacson. We can see the. I it's don't only know been how visible from five or six kicks, yeah, on the TV. Yeah. But I mean, right in front of us here, you can really see the welts. And they're really starting to take their toll on Ernie Isaacson every second, every time that kick comes in. It's just getting a little wobblier, the leg. You can see it every time he takes it. It was a stiff check with the tie early doors, and now it's starting to take a slow toe. Big oh, overhand right by Isaacson, connected with Murray. Though, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> Murray, though, threw an uppercut. Single leg attempt, again gets his head a little mixed up and on the wrong side. Good defense by Murray. Murray grabbing the head, pushing the left arm of Isaacson down to try and clear it away. Again, single leg on. Both men but look instead, Isaacson breaks and Murray comes forward this time with the swing. He's got a bit of tape hanging loose from his glove. Maybe Thanks. that won't affect anything. The exchange jabs, Isaacson maybe thinks that he has a, an opportunity to... to Stand here and trade, but Murray. Yeah, Murray just stood oh, there and took, nice. the, took the kick. Left hook that time, connects with the jaw of Isaacson. I'll say one thing for Andy Isaacson, he can take a punch. Well, We've he's seen it gonna have times. to take a few. As Murray now starts to push forward, lands with the lead left hook again. Got a nice uppercut on the way in too, Murray. Straight right through the middle from Isaacson. Not connecting with any real power that time, but gets into his double leg position and finally Gets a knee of Murray's on the map, but he hasn't quite finished the takedown yet. Looks for the back. Just clinging onto the back of Wayne Murray. Murray manages to keep him up. Arnie Isaacson has the back here. Two under, trying to, they're fighting for this wrist control at the front. Isaacson looks for the trip. Again, gets the knee of Murray down, but again, good takedown defense by Wayne Murray. Isaacson that time got a little of what he wanted, but just couldn't finish the job. Oh, Good nice right hand shot from by Wayne that time Murray. by Murray. Just brought up a little blood there from Isaacson. A little bit of a mouse, I think, on the top of the head of, of Ernie Isaacson, just on the yeah, left side I of his he's forehead. Just got him. Good return eye. punch, though, by Isaacson, but just been cut around the eyebrow. And uh, Dave Jones just pulling off the tape. It was hanging loose from the gloves of Wayne Murray. So uh, both fighters 
We've got experienced corners in there. I think it's Danny Mitchell, isn't it, with Wayne Murray? It is indeed, as we saw losing to uh, Isaacson's teammate. That's right, Gunnar the two Nelson. corners had fought before. Cage contender in Manchester. And Wayne Murray just getting a good talking to there. Trying to sort things out. He's, he's got a very supportive family unit. Faye Ellis is his current girlfriend. He's two boys as well. As we and see Ernie Isaacson just getting treatment for the small cut above the eyebrow from cutman Joe Clifford. It's yeah. not a dangerous one, it's on the outside. Ernie is a real thinking man's fighter, it's got to be said, Barry. He's, he's as much about the mental side of things as the physical side. A very a deep thinker as well. Yeah, I think uh, possibly something of a trait of the uh, Mulliner gym. As we said about Gunnar Nelson, his uh, other corner man standing beside us here in our commentary position. Another thinking man. Well, it's been a very interesting battle so far. It's difficult to say really who's had completely the upper hand. Um, and, and I think cardio could be a big factor in this. If Isaacson can get through this run, take it into the third, maybe Murray will tire. Right now, though, he still looks quite fresh, but Isaacson pushing forward, trying to push the pace and go for that elusive takedown. Yeah, I think in the first round, Murray landed all the quality strikes, but Isaacson spent a good amount of time up pressing him up against the fence as Murray just takes to lift the pace slightly here in this first round. I think uh, we have two sort of, whether from the same shot or not, I can't say from the right hand of Murray, but I think there's a mouse plus a little cut over the left eye of Arnie Isaacson as he pushes forward, lands a good leg kick this time. But that's another right leg kick from Murray landing on that sore spot of Isaacson's leg. Yeah, he keeps chipping away, Murray. And it's really taking his toll on, the, on Arnie Isaacson's leg. And we can really that see the That was a good left times. hand by Isaacson, but follows up with strikes of his own from Murray. And again with the leg kick. Oh, oh overhand right, right hand. again from Wayne Murray. He just lines him up and picks him off with that right hand. It's his best weapon so far. Isaacson, though, showing evidence that he's pushing forward a little bit more. He just needs to be fairly careful. Good Switches body shots. to the that body time. there. Maybe that's a, a different tactic he could, he could try and use. Oh, oh good nice right hand. right hand that time by Isaacson. Knocks the sweat right off the face of Wayne Murray. There's evidence here now that maybe Ernie Isaacson feels his best method is to put go forward. Go forward all the time. Needs to be careful, can't be too cavalier. It's a great technical match. Crowd have gone a little bit quiet. Oh, is that a slip or is that a contact? That's a good I right hand I think it was good Murray. contact by Ernie Isaacson That's and a I slip thought. from Wayne Murray. Yeah. I thought it was kind of uh, confused everybody. I beg your pardon, uh, yeah, they, yeah, exactly. a slip from Ernie Isaacson at the same time. Ernie landed a good shot and slipped at the same time. But Murray answers back. But this time, I mean, Isaacson's caught him more this round. Yeah, definitely getting much more change out of the stand-up exchanges. And perhaps feels he's got, feels he's got a, a little edge in the boxing. I think he is landing a little bit more than Murray has in this round. But Murray, to me... And again, switches to the body, just trying to take some of the cardio out of the tank of Murray. Again, a good overhand again. right. Murray just stands and takes it. Well, Isaacson's corner, we're, we're calling for the overhand in the first round. But it was a high right hand there from... Oh, and over the top of the left, left hook, hook this time. Kind on a good pushes. right hand again. And that and one wobbles hook. Wayne Murray. That was a great shot that no, time. Now Isaacson goes for the take time, but still the strength of Wayne Murray keeps him upright. He stays up, manages to stay up on his feet. Well, I tell you what, this second round is, is certainly turning into Arnie Isaacson. He really, really rocked Wayne Murray with that shot. And he just and stands back off. to land shots. Oh, right, right hand. One. And oh, this one. Murray has wobbled. Murray is Isaacson really wobbled. Isaacson goes for the kill. Left hook. Murray is there Isaacson for the taking. forward and right and Mur left. Murray, Murray is there for the taking right now. Can Isaacson finish? Murray scrambles, manages to try and grab some legs and just hold on. Murray just playing for time right now as Isaacson landed punch after punch. Murray with the takedown. I'm not sure Murray knows a hell of a lot about what's going on here. And it's Niebar a leg lock attempt. attempt. Is it knee bar or is it heel hook? We can't quite see from this angle. Barry. I think it's the knee bar. Oh. It's Murray scrambles one. out, told to give it up by his cornerman just to scramble back to his feet, gets oh, superior this position. This fight has really taken off now, Barry. This is a great fight. This second round is a totally different story. Will Isaacson separate again? Yes, he does. Can he land a few more punches? Wayne Murray looks out on his feet. He looks really tired. Blood under the left eye of both fighters. Oh, no, big left, left hook gets through. Just needs a clean strike. It's going to be It's no way. It's over. It's it over. It is over. He's knocked it out. All Wayne over. Murray. Only the eight. Viking Isaacson is the new welterweight interim champion. Wayne Murray didn't know where he was. The ice Viking has crushed his opponent.
Amazing fight by Arnie Isaacson. The first round, Murray was finding his target all of the time. The second round, Arnie managed to land a few great shots and then one big right hand rocked him, followed by an onslaught. Amazing fight. Great job, Isaacson. Someone should tell the crowd to shut a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes, 39 seconds of the second round. Your winner by way of TKO and new interim cage contender, welterweight champion, red corner, Aine Asaksa. Put your hands together for a tough opponent this evening, Wayne Murray. And ladies and gentlemen, presenting the belt this evening, we have one of our key sponsors. This is Stephen McKenna from Globeset, the Commodities Trading Settlement. Round of applause for one of our promoters, Stephen McKenna. Congratulations, Arnie. What a great fight that was. First round, you tried to push forward, take him down, he stopped you. Then you started picking him apart with punches. Great performance. How do you feel? I'm in so good shape now. And I feel so good mentally, physically. But I was kind of rushed in the first round. And then I found my groove. You did I find, find my groove. My Viking fist going to crush. <laughs> your Viking fist certainly crushed him. How does your leg feel, by the way? Because I don't know if you can see that on the camera. That looks pretty sore. Yeah, I feel no pain. I have no soul. So it doesn't matter. And how does it feel to have this title around your, your shoulder right now? It's good. I'm going to be cool at the gym. Are you going to have a party tonight in Belfast and celebrate? No, party is a weakness for your soul. So I'm just going to sleep, eat and train. Sleep, eat and train. That's a good way to be. Who would you like to thank, Arnie? What's that? Who would you like to thank? Just anyone who likes to fight. I don't want to fight fighters who play is just safe. I want to fight good fight for the fans. So I want to fight a good fight who wants to fight. Brilliant. Well, we love seeing you tonight. Congratulations on a great victory. Thank you, sir. Arnie, the Ice Viking Isaacson.